We're here in Peekskill, New York, uh, at a school near the Indian Point Power Plant. It's a nuclear, nuclear power plant uh, that sits on the Hudson River just 35, 45 miles outside of New York City. Uh, it's a problematic power plant for a variety of reasons, but what everyone's gathered here today to discuss is the fact that the Algonquin Pipeline, which is a multi-state pipeline carrying natural gas, is set to actually go through and underneath all of that nuclear waste uh, here in New York State. This puts not only New York City at risk, but this entire community uh, in a suburb of New York City uh, at risk. And there are children here today parents, concerned parents, and Zephyr Teachout is going to be speaking about what she would do differently as Attorney General in this instance because despite what Governor Andrew Cuomo says, there were a variety of ways to fight this pipeline that aren't being done right now. Look, it's a basic principle of law that if somebody hurts you, they should pay the cost of that harm. That's a basic principle of law. But for decades, we have been acting as if that pr basic principle doesn't apply to fossil fuel companies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fossil fuel companies are not actually paying the full costs of what they impose on communities. My problem with, with our governor is that he said there would be no pipelines going through. He wasn't going to allow them to build pipelines in our, in our state, but he ha has no problem bringing in pipelines from other states. So we're, we are getting huge numbers of pipelines that just don't start in New York State. So it sounds like he's kind of relying on the semantics of the phrasing. Right, that, that's exactly right. And he's also getting money from, from ga gas and, and pipeline people. So obviously it's risky to build a pipeline underneath four decades around of nuclear waste material. So Andrew Cuomo, after years and years of pressure by local activists, called for an independent risk assessment. The independent risk assess assessment backed up what the activists were saying. But now he's saying, it's out of my control. The federal government has jurisdiction. Honestly, from Cuomo, it's garbage that it's a federal issue. He's suing the federal government on multiple fronts. He's suing the EPA over air quality standards. But here we are in New York asking him for help with our air quality from this fracked gas infrastructure, and he does nothing. To hear him at the debate against Cynthia Nixon the other night, he was talking nonstop about Trump and how he's going to protect New Yorkers and stand up to the federal government. And yet here he's using that as an excuse to not act. One of the things that's really important in this campaign is having an attorney general who is independent of the governor. Um, who is willing to speak up, stand up, um, and uh, openly disagree. Not only do I not take um, any corporate money, I'm the only candidate running for attorney general who doesn't take any fossil fuel money. Yeah. It is so essential. It is irresponsible to take corporate money when your job as the New York State Attorney General is to investigate corporations. It is irresponsible to take fossil fuel money when your job is to protect air and water and playgrounds like this. Um, this is my daughter, Irene. My son, Gunnar, is somewhere hiding out in the shade. Um, they are students at Buchanan Verplank Elementary School. Irene just started third grade and Gunnar just started first grade. And uh, the new Spectra pipeline runs 400 feet from that school. 400 feet from the kindergarten playground. That means at that distance, if the kids are outside on the playground, that is a 100% fatality rate for those students. We are not impotent in this moment to fight uh, climate change. We are not impotent in this moment to uh, protect our children from danger. And we are not impotent in the fight against Donald Trump.